Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3 20 from RC Hippeller Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the tension developed in each wire used to support the 50 kg chandelier. So, to solve this problem, we have to draw the free body diagram of point B. So at point B I have one horizontal force, I have one force at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal and another force that is at an angle of 45 degrees from the horizontal. Let's label them. This right here is FBC, this right here is FBA, it is at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal, this right here is at an angle of 45 degrees from the horizontal and let's call this F D D. Now I can resolve these forces into their components. So I have two components for the F D A force, one vertical component and one horizontal component. This side here is also 30 degrees because they are alternate angles so they are same. So this right here is F B A sin 30 and this right here is F B A cos 30. Similarly I have two components for the F B D force, one vertical component acting downwards and one horizontal component. This angle right here is also 45 degrees because they are also the alternate angles so they are same. This component is F BD sine 45 degrees and that component is F BD cos 45 degrees. Now we have resolved the forces into their components. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So our first equation is sum of the forces in x direction equals 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have FPC plus FBD sine 45. Uh, Sorry, cos 45 minus F B A cos 30 degrees equals to 0. So from here, the equation becomes F B C plus root 2 upon 2 F B D minus root 3 upon 2 F B A is equals to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Similarly, we have another equation that is sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have F B A sin 30 degrees minus F B D sin 45 degrees equals to 0. So from here F B A becomes upon solving sin 45 and sin 30 it becomes root 2 F B D. Let's call this equation 2.
Now we have two equations but three unknowns. So we need another equation. For that we have to draw the free body diagram of point D. So at point D, I have one vertically downward force and two forces at an angle of 30 degrees and 45 degrees. So I have one vertically downward force that is the weight of the chandelier and one force at an angle of 30 degrees from the horizontal and other force at an angle of 45 degrees from the horizontal. This is the weight. It's 50 into 9.81, so it becomes 490.5 newtons. So that is FDC and FDD. This is FDC, and this right here is F. BD. Now again we can resolve these two forces into their components. So I have two components for each of the forces. One vertical component and one horizontal component. Similarly one vertical component and one horizontal component. Let's label them. This right here is F BD sine 45 degrees. This right here is F DD cos 45 degrees. This one is F DC sine 30 degrees. And this horizontal component is F DC cos 30 degrees. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium. So we have sum of the forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have F DC cos 30 degrees minus F DD cos 45 degrees is equals to 0. So from here, F D C becomes after simplifying it root six upon three F B D. Let's call this equation three. Now we have another equation that is sum of the forces in y direction is equals to zero. I am considering up direction as positive. So we have F DC sine 30 degrees plus F BD sine 45 degrees minus the weight which is 490.5 newtons equals to 0. So from here we have 0 0.5 F D C plus root 2 upon 2 sine F D D is equals to 490.5. Let's call this equation 4. But from equation 3, we know that FTC is root 6 upon 3. So put FDC equals to root 6 upon 3 FBD in equation 4. 
So our equation four becomes zero point five is equals to four ninety point five. So from here, FBD is equals to 439.77 newtons. This is our first answer. Now, if I zoom out, if we put this FBD back in equation three, then from equation three we can get the answer. For F D C force, so for F D C, put F B D equals to four thirty nine point seven seven newtons in equation three. In this equation, so from equation three, F D C comes out to be. Three fifty nine point zero seven newtons. This is our second answer. Now for the F A B force. Now for the F A B force, or you could say F B A force, we can put the value of F B D into equation two. To get the FPA force, so for FPA, put FBD in equation two. So from equation two, from this equation, FPA is equals to root two into Four thirty nine point seven seven, which comes out to be six twenty one point nine three newtons. This is our third answer. Now for the FPC force. And we can find the F B C force from equation one. We know the value of the F B D force. We know the value of F B A force. So if I put F B D and F B A in equation one, then we can get the value of F B C. So put. F B D and F B A in equation one. So from equation one we have F B C plus root two upon two F B D, which is four thirty nine point seven seven. Minus root three upon two F B A and F B A is six twenty one point nine three. So from here, F B C becomes two twenty seven point six four newtons. This is our fourth answer. So these are the forces that we had to find out. So let us summarize it. 
So we have first force that is F B D, which is equals to 439.77 newtons. Then we had F D C, that is 359.07 newtons. Then we had F B A, which is 621.93 newtons. And then we have F B C which is 227.64 newtons. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question or any, or any doubt about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.